All right. Hey, associates. Um, so this is my ride along for learning report number one, um, which was, you know, just a basic report. Um, just kind of, especially wanted you all to sort of test your writing instincts um, and just go through that that great process of writing out your thoughts. It helps us, you know, process, retain, and understand information in a new way. Um, so I'm just setting up my document, you know, looking specifically at the instructions, making sure I'm like getting all the action items in there, um, and went ahead and like set up my headings, um, and just kind of went back through the canvas sort of module um, and just made sure I had all the pieces in place. So that's kind of that first right outlining process there, making sure I know what sections and info I need to put in. Um, then I went and grabbed my notes, right, the, the reference sheets, but basically my notes from all the materials. And this is where, you know, I kept recommending to use like the big action way of taking notes. And here's one exact reason why, since I went through and already, you know, identified a great summary, that big picture statement, and those bulleted action items, it made it really, really easy to fill this in. And I was able to actually you know, basically copy over what I'd already identified as the big picture of the entire unit, um, as well as going through um, some of these key action items. And so I'm sort of dropping those in there um, and making sure to you know, just summarize a bit more of the things that I had read and learned. Um, and so then I'm just popping over into the next section, right, which was all about how do I form connections. Um, and so one thing that I'm doing right there is just highlighting my topic sentence. So that way I make sure I deliver on whatever I promise at the beginning of the sections. And so right as one of those editing and um revising tips was to just try like highlighting what do you say the purpose statement is what do you say the topic sentence is um, and make it really visible so that way it's easy to go back and reference and make sure we're actually delivering on that um, and so now I'm just kind of going through and for every single unit so every notes sheet um, kind of seeing okay how does it connect to each other how do things connect you know across the board and again the way that I took notes with these big actions um, emphasize made it really, really fast and really straightforward for me to see how they connect. It's like, oh yeah, that action is literally like using even some of the same language from the previous week. Um, and so I'm just picking out a few that resonated the most with me um, that kind of get to really the heart of what we were learning in this unit, which is really all about how audience is the number one thing that's going to impact our documents. Um, and everything else kind of flows from there. And so then the last section is just my recommendations for action. And again, this was really straightforward for me to do because I already had written down overall action items on all of my notes. Um, so I just kind of went back through and was like, okay, what were those actions that I saw during that time? What do I need to note? And then I was able to turn that into, you know, just really um, sort of efficient, examples um, and bullet points. And so kind of taking one key action or combining my three actions into one major action for each of my notes sheets there. Um, and then just trying to come up with some sort of kind of real world one. And so, you know, for me, I thought about like camera equipment. So recently I had to like buy some and how that's like usable or not usable, depending on how much you already know about equipment. Um, I know it was really helpful for me to have both some specs. I knew what I needed a little bit, but to also have, um, kind of explanations and videos of like how the cameras are different. Um, so just try to come up with your own examples. All right, and so then the last thing here, I'm like writing a little summary. If you get stuck on a summary, I always find it actually really helpful to copy. I copy and paste my introduction and then rewrite it and find new ways. Um, then I just saved it. Um, and then I actually did take a break there, um, walked away for a little bit, and now I'm coming back to revise, right? Looking for things that are gonna trip the user up, keeping my audience in mind, right? They wanna be able to skim through this information. They wanna be able to find it super easily. Um, as they're kind of reading through and looking at it. Um, so that's what some of the decisions I'm making. Here I'm just rewriting a topic sentence. So I was like, that literally doesn't make sense. <laughs> I like read it, I was like, I don't even know what I was trying to say there. I just need to 
be more direct, cut out. When, when in doubt, if a sentence is confusing, try to cut five to nine words, which seems like a lot, but like often we can do it. And that's how we can make more direct kind of crisp prose. Um, yeah, so now I'm just kind of going through again, highlighting, and I leave these highlighted um, on the key for you just so you can kind of see what those purpose statements were. Running it through a last, you know, editor and saving it as a PDF. Mm -hmm.